Hello and welcome to PocketGamer.biz's Monetizer channel. This is where we play free-to-play mobile games and talk about the monetization. Not just the spending money, but also kind of looking at the user experience um, and the general gameplay, that kind of stuff, meta game. So um, the game we're just firing up um, is uh, Path of War. So here we go. So and Path of War is a game from um, a new studio in terms of their name called Envision, um, but they've been around for a long time in various forms. Um, as a PC developer and a, a, a free to play browser developer, and it's the game published by um, Nexon M, which is Nexon's uh, mobile publishing arm in the US and Europe. So we can see here, this is the, my my base. So it's a, a kind of a, a kind of a riff on the kind of base building strategy um, genre that we all know and love so well in mobile um, strategy or mobile gaming. Um, so let's have a quick go around the screen to see what we've got here. So um, you can see in the top um, right hand, uh, left hand corner, sorry, so I'm, I'm level four, so not, not particularly advanced really. Um, I'm protected, so I'm still in that state where no one can attack my base, although occasionally gets attacked by AI. Um, I mean, you can see my base here, it kind of looks a bit different, doesn't it, to, to normal um, kind of clash bases or normal mobile strategy bases. So as we can see, it kind of, it's going to probably expand out this way a little bit, but we can see it's kind of, there's like a grid pattern on it, and that will become quite clear. That's a quite a key part of the game plan, uh, the gameplay that um, when you lay down units they basically travel along lines so it's kind of like almost like a kind of a plants versus zombies type uh, if you can imagine that but just rotated kind of into the screen um, and the kind of units as well and because of that it's quite a big restriction that's quite important to how the game plays so we can see here I've got some like turrets so that's a shrapnel turret and here I've got like a MG nest so some of these are more like anti-personnel so the MG nest is, is, um, is let's say here probably good for Good for infantry, shrapnel cannon, also infantry, but I'm um, a bit more generalised. Um, you can see it's aircraft as well. So it's a typical kind of thing. We've got some walls in here. We've got this mud that slows them down. We've got some kind of um, you see some uh, resources going on there. So there's um, my storage is now full. It's saying. Um, so I've got these these iron. These things making iron, and then there's this fuel. So these are the soft currencies. You can see those in the top um, right of the screen. And also, as we expect, kind of a uh, um, the diamonds, which are the um, what we call the hard currency, so you you buy those. You can see there's a there's a starter offer there, pretty traditional. Um, and also there's this. Uh, this is a bit more kind of interesting, I guess, from a monetization point of view. So the construction trade at the moment, I can only do one thing on my base, upgrade one thing at a time. Um, I can buy more construction cranes. So in if you, I'm sure you've all played um, Clash of Clans, you had the what they call the third builder. So you have got two builders for. Th for free effectively and then the third builder was the first time you had to um, it's kind of spend money it's very hard to earn that so it's like five dollars to buy the third builder so a lot of games had the third builder um, as the as a kind of a monetization um, kind of loop almost in this game it's kind of quite old-fashioned actually to have this to have this um, to just only do be able to do one thing at a time so you can see here I can upgrade my steel factory so it's going to cost 50 um, 50 of my steels whatever um, and then it could take 45 minutes to do that I mean, if I try and upgrade, I can't, probably nothing else I can upgrade. If I try and upgrade this, and I need a higher uh, headquarters anyway, but I, I could, well, couldn't do it because I've got this thing going on. Obviously, if I want to speed this up, I can use 14 diamonds to speed it up, or I can wait 45 minutes. So, you know, that's all fairly traditional, um, and the base is the kind of the key thing, the headquarters. That's that's the kind of, um, when you un upgrade that, you unlock various other things. So that's, uh, we all kind of know that kind of, kind of malarkey. Um, down here, I can't build anything else at the moment, um, but you can build, so I can build extra things. This is kind of um, a little bit slow, really, because I I can't actually do anything at all. Um, and I think this is kind of one of the th things we'll come across in the game is just the pacing of it. I, I find a little bit slow. So um, it's not really at this early stage of the game. Often there's kind of you can often do quite a lot, um, partly because of the, I think of this this one building one build um, situation. Only if you can only build one thing at a time. That slows things down quite a lot. So I've been playing, so what we've got here, so um, I've got some rewards. Um, this is, an update's happened, so there's, they've added a few things in so I can um, recover things that were spoiled, and it's quite technical, isn't it? But yeah, but I know I'm spending, so it's another way of kind of spending hard currencies. I shouldn't have done that really. <laughs> um, I'm spending my hard currencies I should be keeping um, for, the, for that. But here's like a little. Um, so here's like a little thing they try and do. Um, okay, I've got damage boost for two days here, it's telling me there. So they had to have this little kind of breaking news things, a little kind of animation thing. I mean, it's not. It's kind of nice for the game, but I don't think many hardcore players will probably kind of dig into that. Um, 
So let's go and do something, shall we? Um, so to go and do something, we kind of hit the map button here. And there is another kind of part concept of the game where you're, um, the American America's kind of falling apart and you're, if we zoom out here, I don't know how far I zoom out. So this is, um, doesn't show that very well, but this is the um, uh, west coast of America. Um, and these are actually real, real life locations. And then, um, I probably can't find myself now. Where am I? Um, what's going on there? Look at that. Someone's about to move. So this is all real time. This is kind of other people's bases as well. So someone's about to move their base. So you have this kind of nice thing that um, people are going in and moving their bases around. Um, let me go over here. That's the veteran's base. I'm supposed to be attacking that, I think. Um, there I am. Okay. So so if I do it like a simple attack, because these are the guys here. There's Bud and Captain DD. Um, there are the players. Um, you can see I've got a shield around me, so I can't be attacked. I could go and have a look at look at Bud because he's level eight. So there he is. He's very organised. He's got his base. He's laid it all out. He's got some mines and goodness knows what. Um, so uh, let's come out of that. It's actually going to attack someone I can actually beat. <laughs> so it's going to attack this base here. This is just an AI base. So I'll go straight into attack. Um, so the way the attack works, you see at the bottom of the screen, I've got these. Um, I've got fifty-five of these called command points and you can see there's different units that use up different numbers of those of those um, points and then I've got these purple ones as well that kind of have missile strikes. So what I'm going to do is, the goal for me is to destroy the base at the end, the kind of HQ at the end, but I'm going to have to kind of work my way through to do that. I may not, I may not do it, let's have a quick go. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set some, um, just some machine gunners go through there as you see these guys are going to actually move um, I'm going to put some gr grenadiers they're good against other structures so they're going to go in there I'm going to lose those guys aren't I yes so let's put some more grenadiers in there so we can see I'm kind of losing some troops I've still got 30 of my command points left now what can I do I can whack in a jeep that's going to go down there as you can see now I've picked up some of these purple points so I can drop some like a missile can go in there um, and as I destroy these purple, um, these these purple uh, power stations, I get more of these points. So you can see my next missile strike needs five. I've only got three. So um, when my guys all destroy this one, I'll get some more. And then you can speed stuff up by just pressing this button here. So you can see I'm going to take that base fairly easily. So there we go. My guys are all happy. Um, and I've got some. So I've got some resources. Um, a resource, some plunders. Oh, I've plundered some resources. Then I can refill. I made some losses, so um, I can kind of pay for my, that with soft currency and refill them. But it still takes still takes a minute for me to um, get those command points back again. So if I go and try and do another attack, I don't have enough resource points at the moment. So that's a kind of an interesting monetization loop. I don't really know. Oh, I'm being attacked by the regime. Let's see how they get on. Oh. Um, on my base, I think I'm going to win. Um, come on, come on, come on. Uh, okay, so I, I, the base, the um, regime didn't uh, didn't manage to uh, destroy my base. It defended itself. So that's the, the basic gameplay. As you can see at the bottom of the screen here, this is my command point. So if I did another attack now, instead of 55 like I had at the start of that bait, uh, that that attack, I'd only have 49. Um, obviously, I can, again, I can speed it up with hard currency. But those are kind of the loops um, that you're seeing in the game. So it's kind of interesting. It's certainly different. Um, let me see here what's going on here. Um, no, that's that's the attack I just made. So we can see this. So there's some really nice kind of ideas in here. The thing I think is it's just, you know, currently at this you're doing these kind of the grind you're doing is is these bases to get kind of this, the the moment the resource. I don't really need. I don't need um, that steel. I've got enough steel. Um, the problem I've got at the moment is I've only got one build build tree, um, and and I haven't got and I haven't leveled up enough. So if I go back into my base. So I can't update my can't upgrade my headquarters because um, I need the I need XP. So basically, I need to level up to level five before I can do that. So I mean, maybe that's just what free to play games are. That it's it's just um, I need to be playing it more. But it's just seems very slow. So there's a I think there's there was when free to play games came out, strategy games. There was this this kind of monetization that you basically have very long time gates. You're basically gated, um, or you pay money. Um, that's kind of changed. People got much more sophisticated, much much more about you enjoying the game. You have lots of stuff to do in the game. Um, you're always bringing the player back, having this retention. This game it seems to be a bit old fashioned, I think, in the way it's monetizing and trying to engage. Um, and I find it quite, 
um, quite slow. So that's my, um, that may be me, maybe I'm not putting enough time into it because I play a lot of games at the same time, whereas most people wouldn't. Um, but um, it's, and I think it's just generally very difficult for people to, to um, innovate in the strategy, mobile strategy genre, because there are some very big games out there. I mean, obviously Clash of Clans is the big one still, and there's Boom Beach, obviously, from Supercell as well. But there have been a few. There's like Dominations came out, again, um, that was published by Next and N, the same publisher as this game, and that was a bit different. It was a very Clash of Clans in terms of gameplay, but it had this kind of historical kind of civilization um, that inspired um, kind of theme, and that kind of worked and, 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 and was interesting. I think the more you try and innovate, the harder it becomes to kind of get a product that um, a mass market likes. Uh, I'm sure lots of people do like this game. There's a, I'm very early in the game, as I've been saying, um, because you, there's a big guild structure, uh, um, alliance structure, you can kind of see here a little bit here. So all these ones, all these bases here, with this um, kind of region around them, um, they're in a different region, and they I think they're an alliance. So you basically get these strong alliance structures where you can you all kind of group together and you can attack much bigger bases than you obviously otherwise could um, uh, and that's a big part of the game I've at this stage I'm not um, haven't haven't got to grips with and I'm, to be honest I'm not a big alliance player I'm just, I just don't have the time to focus on one game so maybe that's just me I'm just not the right player for this type of game uh, but I think there's lots of interesting stuff in there um, I just don't think for me it, it gels quite enough um, so that is uh, Path of War. Definitely worth um, checking out if you like strategy games, I think. Um, and you can spend a bit more time than me. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So we do play a lot of these free-to-play mobile games. We like to talk about them, look at look at um, the monetization, and look at the user experience, and, and just basically try and give some recommendations. Obviously, they're free, so you can download them if you want to and find out yourself. But um, if you like strategy games, um, this is one to have a look at, I think, um, um, and try and play it. Try and play it at a, at a fast pace and see if you get on better than me. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon.